That's very important, don't you? Fuck. I'm sorry we went up late. We were waiting for people off the train. There's people getting off the train going like that. I don't fucking know. I don't know where we are. I don't even know where Wembley fucking is. It's her fucking fault. What do you mean? But it's great to be here. Fucking, it's good to be here. It's crap here. I should have said that. I was like a fucking guitar. I don't know why I moved. But, uh... Wembley Arena, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much indeed for coming down to the show and giving me this opportunity to play this incredible building. Thank you so much. Wow. And, uh, and the reason you are lit up, and you look fucking great, by the way, you're all fucking like that, oh, no, I'll put the old clobber on tonight, go and see that monkey boy. You look great. The reason you're lit is they're shooting this for video, which is, uh, sh I'm shitting my pants, because now I've got to remember everything. But, uh, and so I'm honoured, thank you very much. I, I've come up to London yesterday and stuff. I'm staying in a very nice hotel. I actually spent f four days in my hotel room because I kind of closed the door and there's this sign saying, do not disturb. I went, fuck, I can't get out. <laughs> I opened the wardrobe, there's like a pillow and a blanket. It's the worst night's sleep I've ever fucking had, I'll tell you. <laughs> and the Corby trouser press, fuck, don't it hurt your legs? I'm like. <laughs> and the mini bar, I was thrown out of there for fighting. That was a nightmare. And do you know what? In the hotel rooms now, it's all porn. You walk in, there's like a card on top of the TV. Watch the porn, watch the porn. Right next to it, box of tissues. You go, fuck, I've got to. <laughs> it's there, it's there, you know. No, 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 because you've got one minute before it goes on your bill. You're like, come on! <laughs> I'm sorry, there's people leaving going, oh, no, I must leave right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I don't get porn. I mean, what's the story? There's always, like, two people making love and then suddenly the fucking plumber walks in. They go, oh, join in. <laughs> They're all American films that would never at me. Well, the plumber wouldn't turn up, let's face it. I mean, <laughs> sorry I'm late, M25. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, I'm so nervous, I'm sort of standing back there and as I walk up the stairs, some guy goes, break a leg. So I do, fucking is. What is he? <laughs> what, what does that mean? That would be great. <laughs> That'd be great if I came down with a broken leg going, going to be here. <laughs> Break her leg. I mean, I've always been superstitious. I would never walk on the gaps in the pavement when I was a kid. It took me two weeks to get off the end of our drive because we had fucking crazy paving. I was like... <laughs> Nightmare. But uh, it's like, never let a black cat cross your path. I feel sorry for people that own black cats. They can never fucking relax. Here he comes, here he comes! <laughs> break a leg. You're not break a leg. That's like saying, mind your head. People only say, mind your head, after you've bashed it. You go, oh. They go, oh, mind your head. <laughs> no, fucking mind yours, you twat. You know, I try to relax. I was looking around London today and they got relaxation tapes in the shops, you know? Whale music. Listen to the whale music. I'm thinking to myself, these whales have got all these albums in the shops. You never see them on tour doing interviews, though, do you? Next album's gonna be huge. <laughs> it's like at home, we have a goldfish. Never sleeps. You go, ah, sleep! You go, I can't! I got no fucking eyelids! I'M NAKED! <laughs> it's like today was in Curry's, you know, the big department store, the electrical store, it was incredible. They always do the same thing. This is what you want, Lee. This is what you want. DVD, right? DVD, video, combo. <laughs> no, rent them, tape them, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> And they always say the same thing. No, I've actually got one of these myself, actually. <laughs> Where do these people live? A fucking warehouse. They've always got one there. 
And I like it when you're paying for it. They go, oh, no, it's never let you down. It's bulletproof, bomb-proof. Do you want the extended warranty? <laughs> and we went, to, uh, we went to a pasta restaurant today, and they don't actually trust you to sit down. You kind of go in, and they get the seat, and they sit you down. They go, there you go. And you go, oh, th thanks, thanks. <laughs> no, cos I wouldn't have known how that fucking works. Now... <laughs> I would have let me dinner way away from the table. <laughs> and the pepper, have you seen the size of it? Do you like pepper? It's like they've nicked a chair leg. <laughs> Do you like pepper? That's what the police should use instead of pepper spray. You're much further away. Get back, get fucking back. And they have a smoking section right next to a non-smoking section. Oh, how does the smoke now? <laughs> the smoke goes like, oh, oh no, we're not allowed. <laughs> Fucking mad. Where else did we go? I went to the gas showroom. They got no gas in there. Go in the gas showroom. All they got is cookers. Go in there and go, show me some gas. I'm interested. <laughs> And they're always saying gas is so good, much better than electric. You go in there and go, your lights, what sort of gas do they run on then? Because <laughs> the electricity companies are always doing that. They're always advertising on the TV. Electric's great, buy electric. We've already got it. We're already piped up. We wouldn't be able to wash your avo if we didn't have it. We'd be sat in the fucking dark. <laughs> what, is there different types of electricity you can buy? You ring up and go, hello? Yeah, I want static. Some bloke turns up your house with a big balloon. There you go, thank you. <laughs> you go out, quick, EastEnders is on, quick. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you know, Faraday invented electricity before the light bulb. How did he know what it did? You know, his wife walked in and she went, what's it, Joe? He went, what's this? Give us a cat's bollocks, watch. <laughs> You know, as soon as he joined those two little wires up, an estimated bill fell onto his mat. Because <laughs> I never get that. What is an estimated bill? I'll tell you what it is. They're making it up. When we pay, we should estimate. I estimate, oh, you fuck all. <laughs> Why not? You know? <laughs> and that's the best one. It doesn't matter what you say. All blokes are in charge of the remote control in the house. It's incredible. They stand in the middle of the lounge and they point at the TV and go, ah, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. It's all fucking shit. <laughs> then he landed to his wife and go, you find something, love. <laughs> Isn't it strange when somebody else is going through the channels, it all looks more fucking interesting. <laughs> go back, I missed that one. <laughs> Why do we let the batteries get that low in the remote? We leave it forever. We like to let them get right down to the fucking hill, you know? You're standing in front of the TV going, come on! <laughs> King, come on! <laughs> and you bang it. It's like... <laughs> Why are you banging it? You wouldn't let your car get on the red and then fucking bang it. <laughs> and you get right up to the TV go, come on, you fucking... You could switch it on from here. <laughs> I like it when your wife goes like that. Let's switch it off, eh, and have a chat. Fucking give us it here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> and you watch TV always. When you watch TV, the adverts always come on much louder than the programmes. Why is that? I think they know. That's when we get up to make a cup of tea, they're shouting after us. Oi! <laughs> and it's weird, it's like... <laughs> it's the weirdest fucking thing. Oh, I'm knackered, yeah? I slept really well last night as well. I slept like a baby last night. I pissed the bed four times. <laughs> Woke up crying five. <laughs> I don't know, you know when you lift your head off the pillow, it's like the early morning, you lift your head off the pillow, that alarm clock's there, and they put that fucking snooze button on top. You're gonna use it, you know? You kind of wake up and go, oh, fuck it. 
you can't help it. It's there, you're gonna use it. That extra 15 minutes, you say to yourself, I've had a long sleep, fuck I deserve a nap. <laughs> Why do they give us that option? They know we're gonna use it. You wouldn't have one on your fire alarm, would you? <laughs> Somebody runs up to you, there's a fire! Is it? I'll tell you what, fuck it. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have an extra 15, we'll burn a bit, we'll burn a bit. Do you ever wake up before the alarm goes off? That's the best one. You kind of look at the clock and go, no, I'm not moving. <laughs> until you go off. <laughs> like... Because <laughs> sleep, you know, sleep is bad for you. How many times have you gone up the pub on a Friday or a Saturday night? You know, you come home, you feel great, you go to bed, you wake up in the morning, you feel like shit. <laughs> it was a sleep, didn't it? I felt great about two o'clock last night. <laughs> I, like, I love these people that go like, I can't sleep, I'm like overtired. What the fuck's that? <laughs> That's like us going, I'm over awake! <laughs> you know, it's like... <laughs> And we're all coming at the house today. Me, my wife, and my, uh, my, my daughter and stuff. And you know, you leave it all day in the last five minutes, you're going out the door. Everything is 90 miles an hour. We're like, come on, out the fucking door. My wife turns to me and she goes, keys. I go, oh, keys, keys. I go back in the house. You ever do that thing where you walk in a room and you forget why the fuck you walked in there? And then you ask yourself, why did I walk in this room? Why are you asking you? You don't fucking know. <laughs> you know. And if you already know the answer, why don't you interrupt yourself? I know what you're going to say. <laughs> I get the keys, I'm on my way out the door. My wife goes, ah, strange, isn't it? They're always in the last place you look. Well, yes. I wouldn't look, find them and keep fucking looking. <laughs> oh, there they are, but fuck it, eh? Hey? I just like wasting hours, just keep looking. <laughs> we go outside, we're sitting in the car, looking up at the house, and my wife has left the landing light on. What's that for? Burglars. <laughs> yeah, burglars would walk up to our house and go, oh no, they're all gathered on the landing. <laughs> on the landing going, ah, fucking shut up, shut up. <laughs> so I go in, I go in, I switch a lamp on. I go, yes, yeah, I switch a lamp on, that'll fool them, yeah. Yeah, no, too obvious. No, I switch the lamp off. We're all waiting for him in the dark. Yeah. No, that's no good. I mean, it really does look like we're out. I'll tell you what I do. I put the lamp on, I put it in the cupboard, I close the cupboard, I know it's on, but he fucking don't, does he? <laughs> We come up to Wembley, and I'll tell you, I, I, it's unbelievable. You know, I'm sorry if I look an idiot, I'm really sorry. I looked in the mirror as I just walked on just now. Monkey boy. <laughs> you can never see the back in the mirror, that's what I hate. You know, what I do is I turn around really quickly, I go like, ah. <laughs> Nearly got it. It's like your wife's makeup mirror, have you had a go on that? It's like one side is normal, you turn it over and you go, oh, look at the size of my head. <laughs> got fucking water on the brain. It's like when your wife does her eyelashes. Have you seen her do that? They can't, your wife can't actually do her eyelashes without opening their mouths. They kind of... <laughs> you say, shut your mouth. They can't. They put their fucking eyes out. <laughs> I've always wondered that. Why do we lose hair here and not down here? It'd be so embarrassing if you were the girl. You'd have to pull your trousers down and do a bloody comb over like that. You know, kind of... Well, how does this know when to stop growing, you know? If this kept growing, you'd have to go to the barbers every month. Usual? No, I'm gonna have a change. Give me a David Beckham. <laughs> like a kind of mohawk for the World Cup. 